Hi, it's Dan here from Flexible, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about how we are segmenting our leads and sending them down different paths using ChatGPT. Let's dive in. Before I kind of dive in and show you exactly what this looks like and what we're doing, I wanted to give you an overview of how we're using ChatGPT inside our own agency and what we've got going on and how it's working. The way we're using it at the moment is we're running Facebook lead ads. If you've got a lead magnet that's coming in or something that people want, an offer that people want, and they're coming in and they're opting in and they're giving you their name, email, and phone number, then what we're able to do is instigate a chat with our sales Android or chat GPT after they get back with a positive response, okay? So for us at the moment, leading up until today actually, that question was, do you run a lead gen agency? All right, if they get back yes, then we're able to send that response from our CRM, which is high level, and it's able to trigger the sales Android and then the sales Android chat GBT will start conversing and qualifying out a prospect for our offer. And then if they hit certain criteria, we're able to send them to an offer. If you're doing a traditional lead magnet, then you could send them to a booking page or you can send them to a different offer. It doesn't really matter. It depends what your business is doing, right? And this is working exceptionally well for its for us, right? We're actually finding that our sales Android can actually, we call it our sales Android, by the way, can actually like close itself once it starts learning. It's really, really cool. Okay, but a little bit of a backstory. Okay, we started running all of these ads and I think we're spending about $1,200, $1,300 a day pointing traffic at this lead magnet at the moment. And we're getting a ton of leads, but we're fine. We're after kind of watching the conversations and seeing what um, our sales Android is doing, it's becoming apparent that there's not just lead gen agency owners coming in, all right? There's business owners coming in, people that are real estate agents and solar companies and you know, lots of different, you know, med spa people, martial arts studios, like every business under the sun are just so pumped up about how they can use um, AI to be able to, um, you know, for speed to leave and booking appointments and database reactivation, all that type of stuff, right? They see that it's a big opportunity for them as business owners. So what I realized was the kind of qualifying criteria that we were asking was kicking all of these people out, but it was up to more than 50% of people coming into my funnel. So, what I spoke to the team about, and this might seem pretty obvious as I'm kind of saying this, right? But it took us a while to see the power of what we're doing here. But instead of asking, do you own a lead gen agency? We're asking to them to get back and uh, with a one, if they're a lead gen agency or number two, if they're a business owner, okay? And what happens then is if they get back with one, it triggers our lead gen agency sales Android. And if they get back two, then we're able to trigger the business owner Android and we're able to point them to different offers, okay, which is which is really cool because business owners have a different need and requirement. They don't usually have all of the tech skills. They want more of a done-for-you service, whereas the agency owners are pretty tech savvy and they know what they're doing and they want a white label and all that type of stuff. So they see a different kind of offer at the end. We're really excited about what this can, can look like for our agency because we're just able to help more people and we're able to spend more on ads and we're able to just kind of really ramp things up without wastage. Waste is, is one thing that I really don't like. So it's very cool where things are headed. We're starting to see insane kind of return on ad spend. We're pushing to get high response rates from Facebook lead ads to order, in order to trigger the Android, which is super important. And that's been creeping up from 30% when we first started up to around 50% now. And I'm thinking that we're going to go 60 to 70% in the next few weeks, which is incredible when you think about it because people say Facebook lead ads or you know TikTok lead ads or whatever aren't great quality, but we're seeing such a high response, first response rate that we know this is really working for us. So we're super excited. I basically am terrible at all the tech stuff, but I have a really good team behind me and I've asked Graham, the guy that's kind of managing all this, to put together a quick little video that shows you a basic setup of what we're doing and how it works and uh, I'm gonna hand over to him now to see, to show you, um, you know, what that looks like. I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you in a sec. Hey guys, and thanks Dan. So yeah, so just to take you how, through how this works in the workflow, ignore this bit, we've got this separated out for our British and US number. 
So yeah, so basically this new one, we kind of asked like, hey, Dan Sales, Android here, reply back with a one if you're a marketing agency or two if you're a big business owner. Um, so we're asking for a specific phrase to be text back to start the Android. So far, everyone's done it. No issues. There's been no weird responses yet from this first message. Everyone does either a one or a two. Uh, and then basically what we're looking at is a condition based if else node where if the replied message contains one, uh, it goes down uh, the marketing agency route, which is like the normal, our normal um, sales Android. That's, you know, who it's heading to. And if it's a two, it goes in the business owner route. So then we have a specifically tailored Android with a prompt tailored for business owners. Because there's going to there's be different pain points for business owners that they need to, um, you know, sort out. So the way it works, obviously, is this if else conditioning. We've also got a few catches for if the contact didn't reply or uh, does not equal a one or a two. So say they don't respond with a one or a two, they will get this message here, which is, sorry, I didn't quite understand that. Please reply either one. If you own a marketing agency or two, if you own a business, and again, this will go down to the condition. And if again, they don't message something, then it will just add a tag and that will ignore that. So yeah, if they get one with the marketing agency, they obviously go down the same route sent to our marketing agency, uh, GPT, uh, Android. If you go down this route, uh, we'll also update a contact field with business owner and we send them to its own Android workflow here and then remove it from this workflow. And the second workflow then begins very much like the other Androids. It's exactly the same, really. It just goes to a different, uh, basically, Zap um, that has a different prompt. And this prompt is specifically tailored to business owners. And then it goes uh, like normal uh, down the rest of it. Uh, this has been really helpful for us because basically when you've got multiple different kind of types of people coming into uh, your high level or your CRM, uh, you do want to make sure there's a tailored approach with your Android. Uh, sometimes in, um, uh, all suits, uh, what's it called? Everything fits in one and that's fine. You can just do it through one Android. For us, we saw there was a lot of business owners coming in and a lot of the questions the Android was using to qualify them out with uh, weren't really relevant to, to business owners. Whereas now, if they're a marketing agency, we're hitting their pain points inside the Android. Um, and if it's a business owner, we're now hitting their pain points. Uh, and it's really helped um, with one, like the reply rate as well, because business owners are now feel like it's something for them, rather than us just going straight and being like, are you, are you a lead gen agency owner? We're now offering them the choice uh, and also it's a good way to get a reply as well um, and now it makes more sense to them as they go through it um, so yeah quite a simple little uh, a, a little change there uh, if you haven't seen um, our live demo of how an actual sales under android works then i'm popping something in the um, top left hand corner uh, and you can go see like a working quick video of how our demo android actually works um, and kind of lift the curtain behind it. But yeah, uh, thanks a lot for watching guys. That's how we segment using chat GPT and high level. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers guys. Okay, thanks Graham. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you've got some ideas, especially if you're incorporating AI, chat GPT into your agency, into your business, etc. What I would say is that if you are new to AI and how this is working, then there'll be a link in the description which is where you can test drive our sales Android and you can see how it works on what I've just kind of explained to you just now. Please also give us a like if you've enjoyed this video. Also, if you want to subscribe to our channel, that'd be much appreciated and, and give us a comment below if there's any questions about what we're doing here and we'll be happy to get back. I'll speak to you soon.